Our perspective is fairly simple. There will be no return to normal after this recession because the economy that preceded the recession was anything but normal. We need to purposely build a different kind of economy and a different kind of growth from the rubble of this recession. The next economy, to borrow from Dr. Larry Summers and others, should be one that is export-oriented rather than consumption-oriented, one where the United States leads the transition to clean energy and low carbon, one that is fueled by innovation, and one that is opportunity-rich. An economy, in short, where we export more, waste less, innovate in what matters, produce and deploy more of what we invent, and finally, finally, works for working families. This is also an economy that will be led by metropolitan areas, given the concentration of critical institutions and infrastructure and innovative firms and talented and skilled workers in these places. Now, some will say that the auto impacted in other older industrial metros of the Great Lakes and other parts of our country cannot play in the next economy. And they're right to bring to the attention the chronic challenges that these places face after decades of industrial shocks. But the focus on the negative ignores the possibilities that exist in these communities. And they fail to recognize the partnerships that are being forged, not just among federal, state, and local government, but with philanthropy, business, university, and civic leaders to retool and renew their economies.